Tom. Hello, everybody. Tom Fox here. Welcome you back to Pokemon Alpha Sapphire in the last episode. We finished the Team Aqua hideout and made it right to Moss Deep City immediately. Got a big pearl. Oh, pearl. Oh, you made me the happiest girl in the world. Any good items around here? I'm a bit of a treasure hunter. I'm looking for some good items. <laughs> uh, is it forest? There's a forest here. The roots seem to be extending up. All right, let's see what we got around here. We're going to explore the entire town as we always do. When I was young, I would travel the world as a secret base expert. Even now that I've become an old geezer, my passion has not waned. I'm waiting impatiently for a secret base to appear just beyond that door. I'm sorry? It appears to be locked. I wonder what this is. I, I honestly have no idea. Anxiously waiting for a secret base to appear beyond that door. Does that mean I can use secret power here? What do you guys say? All life, all life, all life needs one to survive. You know, that makes it home. It's home and land. All life, uh, having run its course, becomes soil and returns to land. Thus, water and the sea are always connected to land. Yes, like the very shoreline here. Okay, I'm gonna walk away from you now. Bye. Oh, I didn't want that. Item! Got a netball! I'll be able to catch bug and water type Pokemon more easily. I should use netball on, um, on Kyogre. Or, or Groudon. It's got, it's, it is Groudon, right? Not Groudon. Whoa! I ran into some freaky occult shit here. From the time she was a small child, my heart, older sister hardly ever spoke. Somewhere along the line, she learned to read the experiences of certain objects. Tippy toes, tippy toes, sneaking up on pokey toes. And what do you have to say, madam? Every gym badge tells the story of a hard-won victory against a worthy opponent. I can look at a badge and tell which Pokemon were with you when you won it. Can I see one of your gym badges? Sure. Uh, what about the stone badge? You got the stone badge with, let's see, Slackoth, Mudkip, Sproomish, Beedrill, Poochyena, and Lotad. A whole team, you were, you were ready for anything. Uh, Knuckle badge. Slackoth, Mudkip, Sproomish, Beedrill, Zigzagoon, and Talo. Whole team, yep. Dynamo badge with Marshdom, Shroomish, Beedrill, Vig Vigoroth, Zigzagoon, and Pikachu. Heat badge. Swablu, Vigoroth, Marshdom, Torkoal, Breloom, and Beedrill, the old party. And then from the, I think it, uh, let's see. Yup, we had switched them out at that point uh, before we uh, fought Norman. Mind badge. Oh, you don't even have that badge yet. <laughs> Good times. Uh, might as well go with the last badge we got as well. It's been a while. It's been a while since we got that last badge. Feather badge with Grumpig, Beedrill, Swampert, Breloom, Camerupt, and Altaria. I think that was the, f I want to say that was the final party actually. No, it couldn't have been. I don't think, I don't think, uh, Marshdomp had a, I don't think, uh, I, I didn't see, I wasn't really paying attention, so I didn't see if it was Swampert or Marshdomp. Uh, ooh. It's a white rock. This rock has a special meaning to the people of the Space Center. They put it here for their, uh, as, as their wish for their rockets to fly safely. When you make a wish, what do you use? Do you wish upon a star? I use a wish tag to make that happen. That's what I do. A wish tag? Must be a Japanese thing. All right, we got a woman here. Even though I can't see my dear friend in full tree, a Pokemon carries mail back and forth for us. I'm not lonesome, even though we're apart. My li my little sister, my little sister's always getting letters from a boyfriend in full tree. <laughs> I'm not jealous, not even a little. Excuse me, of their relationship or the fact that you wanted to date your sister. Either way, you're kind of being weird. All right. Never anything with these dealy boppers on. Let's sigh. Hello, child. It wouldn't be wouldn't it be nice if this island no, the whole world was burgeon was burgeoning with nature? Is he like some kind of hippie who doesn't like the rockets? Moss Deep Space Center, the closest place to space. I disagree, I think the Moss Deep uh the Moss oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> How did I get on the moon? Good lord. I wonder if I can talk to that from the back and just, like, roleplay. Nope. I can't look at it from the front, either. Some people claim that Pokemon came from space. Could it be true? No. 
I'd like to get a space my Pokemon and rendezvous within the starry sky. This rocket! Thick! I got something thick for you, baby. Alright, um, hello, sir. A rocket! Yeah, rocket launch demands perfection. 91% margin of error is allowed. If, even if it's 99% okay, the whole thing is useless if 1% happens to be no good. Despite that, we never stop trying. Why? It's a dream that never ends. Alright, madam, what do you have to say? Welcome to the Moss Deep Space Center. Please enjoy our interactive experiences about space exploration. This is going to be on the quiz as well, fellas. Uh, I can't even see what this is because these wamen are in the way. When I was taking a stroll down the beach when I found this. I think I need so you could have it. Ooh, too bad I don't have any Pokemon that could use that. The Hoenn region has been famous for me its meteor showers for a long time. It's kind of weird considering meteor showers can pretty much happen anywhere. All right, and you, sir. Rocket launch. The rocket is safely launched. That was successful launch number eight. A, a giant chunk of metal bursts through the sky and flies into space. It boggles my mind. Same thing with airplanes. You're in a metal tube thousands upon thousands of feet in the air. All right, what else do we got over here? Mission control. They let a kid in here? Good lord. Doesn't seem very secure or safe at all. The Moss Deep has many clear days. And its wind patterns are stable. That's why it's idea it's an ideal location for launching rockets into space. Yeah, like isn't like Florida one of the one of like the um the places uh, some town in F Florida is used to uh to launch uh rockets, but Florida is like notorious for hurricanes. Like how many rocket launches do you think they had one summer where it's like they I'm pretty sure there was one summer where they had like over 30 hurricanes. How many rockets do you think actually launched then? Let's put on the dealie boppers again. Keep wandering our way around town. Pace is fast. I'm homebound. Oh, it's the creepy guy from the from the uh the um demo. The voyage on a ship is fine, but crossing the sea with Pokemon using Surf, now that's an exhilarating trip. Wouldn't you agree, youngster? Get away from me. And nothing. Ooh. Ah! 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 Iron! Wait, do you mean like the vitamin, or did I find an iron that happened to fall off the rocket? Because if that's the case, we're ready for launch. Was it Apollo? Which Apollo was the... Wait, it wasn't Apollo, was it? I can't remember what rocket was the one that blew up immediately after launch. Fishing Guru? Hey there, trainer! Super Rod is really super! Say whatever you want, but this baby can catch Pokemon right off the seafloor! What do you think? You want one, don't you? Sure! You bet, you bet! After all, Super Rod is the definition of super! Got a Super Rod. If there's any water, try dropping your line and see what bites. You mean like I could fish in the statue in Cerulean Gym? Speaking of gym, there's a gym right over there. I uh, gotta revive! All right, let's do this again. All right. And nothing, nothing appears to be anywhere around here. So let's try the other half of town that I didn't explore. Did I talk to you, sailor? Hello there, sailor. I'd heard that from my mates in Lily Cove that a herd of Whalmer has disappeared. I wonder what went down over there. Sailor. <laughs> All right, what do we got? Old man's house. Oh wait, this is the secret base guy. I'm waiting for a secret base to appear just beyond that door. Goku! Goku? Oh, hello, madam. Lies and Tate of in Moss Deep Gym have a very mysterious power. Their uh, powers are paranormal, like psychic type Pokemon. If you have any trouble, you may want to visit the gym. Ski ski! Aw, oh, hello, Skitty. I want to give you a hug. Let's go ahead and heal up our Pokemon. Good more. All right. So it's actually like 6:30 p.m. when I record this, but I want these episodes to be during the day. So like, <laughs> so uh, so I usually play this. Uh, so I set my uh, 3ds clock backwards. The gym leaders in this city are a formidable duo. Their combination attacks are like excellent and wow. Going to win a whole lot of link battles, and and me and my Pokemon are gonna charm everyone. I have a ton of fans all over the world. That's my ultimate goal. 
Pokemon that live in the sea and in caves are really, really good at hiding. They catch if they catch even a glimpse of you, they'll be gone in an instant. And sometimes you'll feel you feel like you can really sense the Pokemon around, but you still won't be able to find it unless you can actually see it with your eyes. You have to spot them first, then sneak up on them slowly. That's the trick. I just realized I still uh, uh, I had my didn't have my Dex Nav out because um I was battle I did a battle with Z, Royal Viking before. So it's, right, it's it's out by at the time of this recording, but we'll probably do more later. Did you know that some items can make secret bases seem bigger? Try solid boards and stairs. Stairs? No! My little brother says he's going to big find the biggest secret base. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Shout out to Chug Chugga Conroy. Alright, what do you got, man? I got this from Steven, but I don't even know what it's good for. I think it's all a King Rock King's Rock. Do you want it? Yes! You can keep it, but don't tell Steven I gave it away. Ooh, King's Rock. I can evolve slow. Wait a minute! I oh my god, remember a few episodes that I said I wanted one of these? Item. You slash give. On. Oh! My liege! King Sting is truly a king now. <laughs> oh, King Sting. Truly. Uh, this is Steven's house. There's nobody here. Ah, uh, ooh. Let's see what we got here. There's a note on the plate. Classification Green sh Green Schist. Charstone Cave of the Unova region. Uh, classification ch Chert. Mount Pyre. Hoenn region. Uh, classification Pitchstone, Mount Mortar in the Johto region. Classification Hornblend Biotite Granite, Rock Tunnel in the Kanto region. Uh, let's see. Sh Schalstein, Mount Coronet Sinnoh region. And I can't see the other ones because the bed is in the way. He sleeps with his rocks. Collection of rare rocks and stones assembled by Steven. So yeah, this is Steven's house. If you couldn't tell. God, it's, it's beautiful. Like... Like every stone ever. Because stones are beautiful. People, they're not beautiful. Stones are beautiful! Do you the stones? Alright. I think there's one place... Oh, I haven't talked to you, lady. This island space center has, has been launching huge rockets. Oh, they're so huge. I don't think I've gone to the, to the Pokemart yet. And I might get a TM in there if I do. Because you get TMs like... All over the place. Revives are fantastic. Give one to a Pokemon's fainted that that uh, that Pokemon will be revived. But be careful. Revive will restore any PP that's been used to buy its moves. Net balls and dive balls are used to are used to be most deep specialties. The net ball is effective against bug and water type Pokemon. Dive ball works best for Pokemon on the bottom of the sea. Max repels can keep weak Pokemon away, and it lasts longer than all the other repel sprays. Hey you, quick question, do you want a TM? Sure. Quash. Quash. That TM, that's the TM my sweetie gave me when I proposed. But I'm not a trainer, so I don't know how to use TMs. <laughs> what does Quash do? That's gotta be a new move, because I, I don't remember seeing that in um the old ones. TM60 Quash. Show me the Quash. Uh, suppresses a target and makes its move goes go last. So it seems like it's only good in... So first of all, it seems like it's a priority move. And second, it seems like it's only useful in, uh, in multi-battles. Uh, anything good here? Eh, an alright assortment. I'll buy Poke Pokeballs from the Lily Cove department store later. Alright, we've pretty much done everything we can around here, I believe. Uh, unless I'm mistaken, let me just give it one last quick sweep through town to make sure. Never know. Never, never know. Never, never know. Never, never know. Never. Ooh, let's also let's try out our super rod before we end the episode off. Uh, register first of all, and go ahead and use. Cast the line. How dare you! How dare you give up so easily? CAST THE LINE! ON THE HOOK! 
It's a Wilma! Hello, little Wilma. Oh, you're so big and cute. Look at that cheeky little Gwyn. I'm gonna throw a quick ball at you. Oh, go quick ball! Got it! Alright. Wilmer was caught. Pokedex entry for Wilmer that states... Ahem! Wilmer, the ball whale Pokemon! Wilmer can store water inside its body to transform itself into a ball for bouncing around on the ground. By filling itself up with more water, this Pokemon can elevate the height of its bounces. This so was basically a whale version of Tigger. I want to call this Wilmer... Um... Bell... Bell Uga. Godspeed, Bell Uga. Next time on Pokemon Alpha Sapphire, we're gonna go and challenge the gym, but first, Sick Wheelies! Ah, Sick Wheelies!